Significant severe weather is possible on Tuesday. Let's talk about it. What is going on everyone? Zachary Hall here, otherwise known as the Arkansas Storm Tracker. As you've probably heard several times by now, we do have some thunderstorms possible on Tuesday. Unfortunately, I do think that some of those thunderstorms could be strong to severe. And I think our tornado potential as of right now, I'm filming this on Sunday afternoon, is a little bit higher than usual, especially for the fall months. We do have a secondary severe weather season in the fall. That is not uncommon, but to have a higher tornado potential isn't so common. And I'll have all of those details in this video. I'm gonna to try to go from A to Z to make sure all points are covered. That way you're prepared before Tuesday gets here. The first thing that I wanna show you guys is the SBC chart for Tuesday. I share these all the time, and all it is is a risk category as far as severe weather goes. They issue these every single day for the next several days. And as of right now, this is for Tuesday. Uh, if you're watching this video on Monday or even Tuesday, it might be different. So just keep that in mind and check up-to-date information. But as far as right now, Sunday afternoon, much of central Arkansas is under the yellow color, which is a slight risk, two of five. And then eastern Arkansas is under an enhanced risk, which is a level three of five. Severe weather, including the risk for damaging winds and tornadoes, is gonna be a little bit higher in the yellow and orange colors then the green, and then of course, Northwest Arkansas and parts of the River Valley have no shading, which means the risk of severe weather is very low. The upper level winds on Tuesday are going to be cranking. And when I say cranking, I mean cranking. If you check out this graphic here, I have an arrow and an ellipse, kind of around the 500 millibar winds to showcase better what I'm talking about. And you can see the red and the grays, and that represents the high wind values, talking like 100 knots plus. So really strong winds, well above our head. This is really supportive. For severe weather. Up next we have the low level jet which is very very important for tornado development and we are going to have plenty of assistance in the low level jet department on Tuesday. I have a graphic here you can see the reds the dark colors that represents higher values. Think of winds this isn't like up where we just talked about just a minute ago it's not at the surface it's kind of in between. Very important for tornado development Anytime I see a solid core of low-level jet showing up, uh, accompanying you know, some of our other ingredients that are necessary, my alarms start going off in my head for tornadoes. This is another reason why you're hearing so much about Tuesday. Last ingredient that I wanna talk about is thunderstorm fuel, or CAPE, which is its legitimate term. And on Tuesday morning, we're, we're gonna wake up, there's not gonna be a whole lot of thunderstorm fuel around. But by Tuesday mid-morning, into the afternoon hours, and in the evening, we're gonna have plenty fill into Arkansas. You can see values here of 2100 plus in South Central Arkansas. Guys, that is more than enough to support severe weather in our state in the month of November. And I think that this model might be underdoing it a little bit. Typically models at this range don't handle it very well. I think that the values could be even higher when Tuesday actually gets here. So this is very alarming along with the other stuff we talked about to accompany that potential tornado threat. One of the main questions right now for people is what does the timing look like? Obviously kids are gonna be in school Tuesday. Do we need to be concerned about that? And I'm here to tell you that I think for the most part, I think the kids in school will be okay, but we'll have to watch the afternoon hours. For me, the main focus is gonna be as we move into the late afternoon and the evening hours. You can see here, uh, the boundary starts to push in from west to east, and this is when you're gonna have the bulk of your activity start to form, likely in central and eastern Arkansas. My time frame for now that I feel most comfortable with is around 5 to 6 p.m. to around 11 to midnight. And by that time, 11 to midnight, I think the bulk of the concern is going to be moving off into Tennessee and Mississippi and so on. I cannot stress enough how important it is for those of you who are watching from Central, Eastern, and even Southeast Arkansas, the KLZK radar in Little Rock is going to be down Tuesday. Uh, I'm not here to bash anyone or make comments about that. Uh, that is not anything to do with the National Weather Service office in Little Rock. They didn't make that decision, it's above their heads, but it's gonna make a challenge on Tuesday for the warning processes, detecting that rotation because a lot of the radar beams that we're gonna be utilizing, and you know, the earth obviously curves, so radar beams shoot aloft into a storm and we lack that low level rotation that really helps with the warning process. But nonetheless, we will get through this just like we always do. Uh, this is not uncommon for this time of year, severe weather. It's very common across the southern part of the country during November and even December and into January and so on. I really hope this video helped you prepare for Tuesday. Guys, if you're watching, please, so many people watch this channel, but they're not subscribed. Subscribe now, hit the notification bell. That way you're alerted anytime I upload a video. If I'm uploading something, it is weather oriented. I'm not, I'm not on here uploading just random things. That way you stay up to date with weather. And of course, follow me on Facebook, Zachary Hall, Arkansas Storm Tracker. I post on my Facebook daily, sometimes two to three times a day with weather information.
Thank you guys so much for watching and have a wonderful day.